good day everyone welcome back to the channel so today we're making jamaican easter bun so you have three and a quarter cups of flour three tablespoons of baking powder half teaspoon baking soda half tablespoon nutmeg two tablespoons cinnamon and mixed spice we have sugar two eggs we'll be using some mixed essence some mixed fruits and we have one cup of vital malt and a quarter cup of oil that's a vital malt that we will be using also we added one tablespoon molasses and one tablespoon of browning that was not shown in the video so we're just here going to hydrate our fruits with that malt just let it sit for a bit so we're going to give it a stir while we mix our other ingredients that will just infuse nicely so here we have our sugar we're going to add it to our flour and also the rest of our dry ingredients we're just going to pour it all in there before doing the mix We're just gonna mix that until everything is incorporated nicely evenly distributed before we go ahead and add our wet ingredients so we start by adding our fruits making sure we get everything out of the air don't waste anything <laughs> just scrape it all out we go right ahead and add or oil, eggs, and mixed essence. We're just gonna give our eggs a good whisk, breaking down the yolk so that there's no lump left here before we add it to our mixture. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Now we're going to add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract or vanilla essence and then we're going to mix it all together. In this mixture or this bun did come out a bit light I personally would have preferred it a bit heavier so in future instead of putting three tablespoons of baking powder as the recipe called for I think I would only put one because it came out pretty light and I'm accustomed to like a thicker more denser bun or Jamaican bun like those that you buy from the store so in future I will definitely reduce the amount of baking powder that is added to this mix so here we have our butter and floured pans that we're gonna divide our mixture into before putting it into the oven to bake at 350 degrees celsius for one hour and this is our finished product put some sugar syrup on top and this is how it came out it was light and airy like I said I prefer it a little bit more dense instead of so spongy and light and of course we had it with some tasty cheese from the Caribbean store and that's it right there hope you guys like and share this recipe let me know how you like it if you do be blessed